viewers, uh, listeners, ladies and gentlemen, we are here again today to an interesting episode on the Daily Positive Living Principle Program. I advise you to keep on listening to this program because it will transmogrify you. It will move you to another level in your life. And this year you must move forward. I am still your regular anchor, Dr. Daniel Otto, and I'm here once again for another interesting episode. In today's episode, for all this while we've been talking about um, in the series of thinking and how we need to move from this level to another. So today episode we are talking about um, we, 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 are, we are talking about the thought process, the thought process, the thought pathway. What is the pathway for thinking? That is what we are, we are going to talk about because you, everything you need in life is attracted to you based on the nature of your thought pathway. And I believe that if we must move forward, we need to really, really talk about this, 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 this topic. The thought pathway or the thought cycle. How the, uh, does our thinking generate into action? This is what we're talking about. Before now, we have talked about that thinking is a process of consideration, is a process of reasoning. It's a process of using your mind and, uh, and, uh, and using your brain to form an opinion and a judgment so that you can move forward. We have said that, that, that thinking is a, 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 a normal uh, way of using your mentality and using your, your brain to analyze, to brainstorm and uh, analyze issues so that you can generate plans for the future under a tensionless and anxietyless situation. What are we saying? Thinking is a positive venture. It is what moves you from one level to another. And so we, we, we need to actually talk about this process, which is very, very important. And I, and I encourage you that on this program, you will not regret being on this. So why are we talking about this process? A man, the founder of Buddhism, the Gautama Buddha, once said that everything you are is from the way you think. He said that, that, that thoughts are like things that are endowed with breaths, with wings, which travels to create your world. And so these things are very important. The, 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 the wisest, the richest man on earth, which, which, which have ever lived, King Solomon, said, you are what you think. As a man thinketh in his heart, you see. So what are we saying? If there is anything we need to be talking about, it means we need to talk about the thought process. And so we are going to be discussing heavily why, well, how, how, how the, what is the, the, the cycle of the thought, of the thought pattern, the, 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 the thought pathway. And this is very, very key on this channel. How do we talk about uh, the thought process? Me, remember that thought is generated from our senses, the senses of the body. That is the eye gate, the eye senses, the sense of vision, what you hear. That is the ear gate, your body, your body sense, your, your smell sense, which is through the nose, your, your taste, your smell sense, your mouth gate. These are all generated. Remember, the eye, which is what you see, is the first thing that the impulses from all the senses of the body, they are the ones that generate into our thoughts that things will begin to move. And that is why it, it, we, we need to, what you see is very, very important. Let's take the eye, for example. The eye is located in the front to now give you a picture. What you see sends an impulse to the brain. It forms an image. No wonder before a building is constructed, uh, we see a building being constructed, there has to be an architectural design. There has to be a, 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 a paper, a work of it before the construction really happens. What am I saying? Before you take a picture, a picture is fully developed. Always a film is always created before the development of the picture. Whenever what you see sends an image like a film into the brain, and before you know it, it generates into something that will become an action. 
So what you picture determines what you capture. And what you visualize determines what you realize. So anything you see determines what you see. So this is very, very important. The images of the eyes is very, very important. So what you see, sense and information that culminates into thought. Whatever about, about the, the ear, the ear gate, what you hear determines what you fear. Anything you hear becomes an impulse that sends it to, 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 to your brain. So the thought process is an interplay between our mind and the brain and the senses of our body that for, that culminates into thoughts. So these are the processes that we are talking about. What about the body sense? What you feel by the time you 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 the, the feeling of touch sends a signal. No wonder that some people can 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 fall. Okay, but when you touch people, there are currents that passes through touching, and those touching send impulse to the brain. And this is what culminates into the thought pattern. These are the things we are considering. Even the sense of smell through the nose, what you smell is very, very important. Sometimes what you smell can make you, can, 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 can trigger an alert that makes you brighter. It can even stimulate some adrenaline that makes you uh, 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 affected. So what you smell is very, very important. Do you know that even by smelling some fragrance, some perfumes, it can send you into a realm of thought. So smelling is also a very key thing that generates into thought. These are very, very key issues that we're talking about. What of our mouth, our taste, board, uh, taste board, our tongue? Our tongue is, the tongue is one of the, the, the highest organ with uh, a point of anastomosis of nerves and vessels. Most vessels are, are converged on the tongue. No wonder even the, the, the Bible says that the power of life and death is in your tongue. So what are we saying? The tongue has a lot of impulses. So what you, what you taste also have an effect on your thought process. That's what we're talking about. So, and then the mouth, what you say, the talking sense. <laughs> the whole human being was formed by the word. So words are very, very important. What you speak sends signals into our system. So by the time you, be, you, you, you talk, you, what, what you say have an impression on the brain. So, so that, 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 that is why the words are very, very, since a human being is created by words, the whole creation are, 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 co are constructed by just word. So that is how powerful words are. So our mouth, there is a saying that when God was looking for where to hide power, he looked here and there, went under on the earth, he could not see where to hide power. He went beneath the earth, he could not see. Went down into the sea, he could not see where to hide power. Went to the sky, nowhere to find power until God went and hid power in our mouth, in our tongue. That is how powerful these things are. So what are we saying? The impulses from all our sense organ, the eye gate, the ear gate, the, the, the nose gate, the body gate, the, the tongue and the mouth gate, all this and the body gate, the feelings of the feeling sense, all this culminates into our thought pattern and they form what we think. So anything you don't want, you need to stop it at the level of these senses. So training of our senses is key to the formation of our thoughts. If you don't want it, don't watch it. <laughs> so what you watch is very important. What you hear is very, very important. What you feel is very, very important. What you smell is very, very important. What you taste is very important. And then your declaration determines who you become. What you say, eventually you become it. So these are the things we are talking about. So when the thought is formed, ah, uh, look at the process. When thoughts are formed, it now develops into a belief. It develops a belief that you begin to believe. From the belief action, it now culminates into an action. When it culminates into an action, it now becomes a habit. When actions are taken for a long time repeatedly, it now becomes a habit. Once it becomes a habit, it moves from there to becoming a behavior. It now becomes a behavior. From behavior, it shifts to attitude. <laughs> Once an attitude is developed, it now becomes a lifestyle and then 
From there, you now label somebody as a character. So what are we saying? That the thought process actually now transforms and begins to, to, to move from that level of the thought realm down to the level of the character. What are we saying? So a, a formation of attitude which determines what a person is, how a person behaves, what a person does, is actually from the thought process. Once thought starts, it has to continue on to the character. Those characters are developed based on our thoughts. And these are the things we, are, we want to talk. If you must go forward, you have to be careful, you have to, to actually listen carefully to the things that you think about. Because anything you think about, you become. And so we need to watch. So for us to, 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 to have a good thinking this year, what you watch is very, very important. What you hear is very important. The person you listen to is a key thing. Uh, how you feel and interact, that is why opposite sex, by the time a man and a woman are touching each other, it generates into thinking and anything can happen. So your association and people you, you mix with and touching is very, very key. So if you don't want it, don't touch it. These are the things we are talking about. So these are the processes of the thought pattern. And I, need, and I think we need to know this because it's very important for us to move to another level. If you must move to another level, your thought process, your thought cycle, your thought pattern must be correct. It must be heavy. It must be good so that it can move you to another level. So thoughts can mar or make you. This is what we are talking about. As I begin to round up in this session, I'd like to tell you a story because there is a time to pay and there is a time to play. If you play when you are supposed to pay, I'm telling you, you will chew kwakwa. What do I mean by kwakwa? Hard condition. You will be working hard without no result. You will jam rock if you are supposed to pay. So thinking and the thought process is what we need to pay for. There is a man called Ajani who was going to write his final examination. And when it was time for people to be read, because I always told you that students don't pass exam in the exam hall. They pass exam in the library because preparation is very, very important. And if you must move forward, preparations about what you think about is very, very key. So what did Adani do? When all the other students abused the reading, some were putting their legs inside water. <laughs> some used to burn candles. Others who smoke Nescafe and coffee so that they can stay awake. Some people will even chew cola up to the point that they develop peptic ulcer disease because of so many things. People want to keep awake and be reading and reading and reading so they can pass exam. Why they were reading? Ajani was moving forward, moving from one place to another and went to a herbalist and collect a charm called Chukura. What did the herbalist tell him? Herbalist told him, Ajani, if you collect this chukura, put it inside your pocket. When you go into exam hall, the moment you look at the question, every answer will appear. Ha! Ajani was so confident of this charm, so he was moving about. While people were reading, he was going about checking people and telling people, ah, ah you people are just uh, wasting time. The exam is going to be simple and order. They will tell Ajani, why are you not reading? So there's no, the exam is going to be a walkover. Ha! They started and all that, and the date of the exam came. Guess what happened? They went to an exam hall. This exam was supposed to take two hours of examination. They went into an exam hall, and Jani was giving his question paper. Five questions to answer in two hours. Others started writing, 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 writing. Ajani looked at the question. Ajani began to, began to call Shukura. He called Shukura. Answer refused to come. For the first 30 minutes, Ajani's answer script was blank. Nothing was written on it. <laughs> Ajani was still waiting for Shukura to, to, to act and implement. Ha! Shukura, Shukura for the next one hour, Shukura did not answer because nothing was programmed into his thought. Nothing was fixed into his thought so he could not manifest. What are we talking about? He continued. One hour, one hour examiner came and asked Ajani, Ajani, you are not writing. Your scripts are empty. Your answer scripts are empty. Ajani said, you should not worry. <laughs> He's trying to gather all the points together. After one hour, yes, he said, I'm just trying to put things together. In fact, by the time, uh, before the, 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 uh, the time finishes now, my paper will be full. Examiner said, okay. 
Ajani continued, one hour, 30 minutes. Ezebina came, say, Ajani, <laughs> your answer script is CM2. Ajani said, if you let us say, don't worry, my, my, it will still be full. Hmm. Ajani was calling Shukura. Shukura refused to answer. When it was 10 minutes to the end of the time, Ajani stood up and said, Shukura, Shukura, Shukura. He began to call Shukura. Shukura refused to answer. <laughs> Things began to, <laughs> nothing was coming. And why, what, what, what was the end? Ajani called Shukura, Shukura, Shukura. He was disturbing the whole environment and the whole classroom. They had to bundle Ajani to a psychiatric room. That was the end of the matter. Ajani has to come for more exposure. What are we saying? Preparation is very key. There is a time to play and there is a time to pay. There is a time to play if they're receiving a need. So we need to pay for our thinking process. The things that enter into your eyes is very important. Your ear is very, very important. Your body is very, very important. Your senses, your mouth, what you say at a particular time. is very, These are the things that make up a man. A man is differentiated by the level of his thinking. And that is why these things are very important. As you hit to this, I see you moving to another level. You need to program your thought senses so that you can move to another level. I, I advise you, keep on watching this program, the Daily Positive Living Principle program, and the Lord God will bless you. Keep on watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you and God bless you.